Hello there. What is going on, everybody? Today I'm talking paints, primarily some interesting, I guess, drama or an interesting situation that has turned up over the New Year's holiday regarding paints. And uh, a lot of people may have only heard a little bit of this, so I kind of wanted to talk about this deal with Vallejo uh, and their new line of paints called the Shifters. This is, you know, this this type of paints that changes the, on depending on which direction you're looking at it. They're pretty cool. I, I haven't used Vallejo specifically yet, uh, although I do use other Vallejo paints. But um, primarily, it basically boils down to Green Stuff World with their color shift set. Um, there was basically, Vallejo's had the same name. Um, and so there was, you know, there was some, you know, stuff going on between competition and uh, Vallejo had changed their name to the Shifters. Uh, and basically as a result of this, uh, the YouTube channel Sword and Steel had done a review of the Vallejo set when they were still called the same name as the Green Stuff World set. And as a result, um, Green Stuff World had... I, I, requested i guess a strike or they basically had that had, had, they had requested that it was taken down uh and so sword and steel had you know i guess people were asking what happened to your review and it was taken down so they had put out a thing that says well we got a strike on our channel uh and you know and it, i guess it came from green stuff world uh and they were really being transparent with the whole process uh and I'll, i'm gonna put a link to the new video because you know moral of the story there's there's at least a moderately happy ending to the story depending on your perspective but i did want to at least kind of come out with it uh right now so yeah basically it, it it stinks to get a strike on on your channel. Uh, I've had one once before uh, for something that you know. A lot of times YouTubers get a strike and they don't even realize you know that they did anything wrong. And a lot of times it has to do, at least in this case, it had to do with two companies kind of having you know a dispute and a YouTuber who was just caught in the middle of it that they did really did nothing wrong. So uh, so you know, Sword and Steel reached out to Green Stuff World and said, "Hey, can you ask them to remove the strike because you know I didn't do anything wrong?" And they kind of talked a little bit about it. Green Stuff World had was uh, very very prompt with them, had apologized to them, said they were going to go ahead and do it. Uh, now, according to Sword and Steel, they have gotten the situation fixed, and uh, of course, from their and I'm going to put a link to that video, but they uh, they they gotten everything fixed. Um, and Green Stuff World put this out on New Year's Day. Uh, I'm going to read this to you. This is an official statement from Green Stuff World. Uh, Dear community, yesterday, as soon as we realized what had happened with the Sword and Steel channel and the YouTube strike, we requested to be removed. A few hours later, was corrected. Uh, now, they are uh, from Spain, so there may be like some of the you know translations and stuff might... like. I think they meant they requested that the strike be removed. Um, with this statement, we publicly apologize with Naomi for the serious misunderstanding uh, for having damaged her channel and for having made her a part of a legal dispute between companies that have nothing to do with her. The serious mistake on our part has been clumsy act before informing ourselves properly about the correct protocol to deal with YouTube and what the possible consequences could arise due to our actions, and therefore we apologize. We are a small family business. This is my hobby and my life. I'm very proud of what has been achieved after many years of hard work for all this. I only hope that our entire trajectory is not judged due to a single human error that has already been solved. We have learned from our mistake and hope that you could give us a second chance to make things better. Regards, uh, Green Stuff World. <clears throat> so, uh, that is the statement. I think that's a pretty, pretty good statement, to be honest. I think it's a very, you know, matter of fact, direct and um, honest statement. And I think that the fact that they got it fixed uh, helps. Now, it doesn't mean that they shouldn't have any consequences. I know a lot of people have already said that they're done with Green Stuff World forever. Now, if you guys follow me, you'll know that I do use Green Stuff World. I've done some reviews for Green Stuff World. Uh, I'm not compensated uh, financially outside of the product that was sent to me. I, I It's not like I have an arrangement with them where I get paid or anything like that. Uh, although, from a certain point of view, getting some free product might you know, be viewed as financial compensation, although I certainly can't eat paint and can't pay bills with paint, so I don't really view it the same way. So I'm not basically talking about Green Stuff World to get paid. Uh, I'm talking about Green Stuff World usually because I highly enjoy the product. Uh, I also enjoy Vallejo products. I also use Citadel products, which I 
enjoy a much much less so i've been you know kind of le you know trending over towards dropper paints as opposed to pot paints that being said i do enjoy green stuff world's products however i was not happy with the fact that they had asked for somebody else's video to be taken down and they got a strike as a result of it when that person hadn't done anything wrong um i was pretty surprised when i found out about it i was actually very pleased to see this type of apology, especially a public apology where they admit fault. A lot of people are afraid to admit fault, and I think that's one of the things that they did. I also expect that a lot of people aren't going to get the message. So they're only going to see the initial headline that Green Stuff World, um, you know, got a strike on this YouTuber that, you know, that didn't deserve it. And uh, for those of you who don't know how bad a strike is, if you get three of them, your channel's done. And I just hurt my hand on that thing. Ow. Your channel's done. Like, you get three strikes, you're erased, you know, and some people make their living on YouTube. So a strike is a big, big deal. Um, there are ways to appeal a strike uh, and strikes will eventually go away. I had a whole year before my, my the one strike I had came off and it was, um, well, I don't want to get into what it was because it doesn't matter. I don't want to take away from the point. Point was a lot of times, and in my case, people don't even realize they're doing anything wrong because it's all legal stuff that's so far above our heads, and we're just trying to talk about the stuff that people know about, and you know, and 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 I think that was the case with Sword and Steel. They, you know, had this product. How were they supposed to know that there was some kind of legal dispute with the name? Um, so yeah, it, it, the point is, it was fixed. Green Stuff World screwed up, and it sounds like they fixed it, and hopefully they're going to. Uh, you know, hook Sword and Steel up with some product to review and, uh, you know, and that'll maybe begin some of the uh, healing process from this because it's also a little bit traumatic as a YouTuber to have a strike. It means, hey, one, you know, two more of these and you're done. Um, that's scary. And also you lose some ad revenue for the time that that video is down. So, you know, that's, uh, that's it's not something insignificant. That's something, you know, that companies need to avoid. Um, personally... I think we're in the type of world where a lot of people will see a mistake, a single mistake, and permanently hate you for it. Uh, and I think we would benefit as a people from being willing to forgive. Um, not necessarily forget, but being willing to forgive. Uh, I, I think this uh, was a learning opportunity for Green Stuff World, and I think that they've demonstrated honesty and forthrightness and very, very prompt uh, addressing of this situation. Like, it was like within 24 hours, they've got it totally fixed, and they, um, you know, from, from watching some of the videos of Sword and Steel that I've seen, they were responsive to her within minutes, and they're in, uh, they're in Spain, so I don't think Sword and Steel is based in Spain, so you, possibly international correspondence happening that fast is, is pretty good. Um, so, you know, I, I think they've, they've done a good job to try to rectify their mistake. Um, and personally, I'm, you know, still willing to use both companies' products. You know, of course, Vallejo, I don't, you know. And, and I, I guess there's probably some fault with Vallejo in here, too, for having used the same name. Now, granted, Green Stuff World isn't as big as Vallejo as far as I know, so maybe Vallejo just didn't know also. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know all the stuff that goes on behind the scenes, and I don't profess to. Uh, but I do know how it looks, at least from my perspective. Um, it's, uh, you know, from a smaller company, it stinks if you get a, a, a name out there and somebody else tries to steal the name of your product um, or accidentally uses the same name as a product that you've got. Uh, and I can understand that. I've used Green Stuff's World's Color Shift paints, and they're pretty cool. I have them on some Droidicas for Star Wars Legion. They look awesome. Uh, so it's, it's good stuff. I, I enjoy the product. Um, I haven't used Vallejo's shifters yet. I have used a tester uh, testers uh, spray can version of something very much like this. So, you know, it, it's a cool thing to do. It's a cool for robots, for droids, for any any kind of, like, this whole t type of paint. Uh, it's kind of surfaced up in 2019. I hadn't really ever heard of it before 2019. But, uh, you know, I love that it's out there and, and it's available for consumers. And since miniatures are, you know, just becoming more and more abundant, and, you know, especially now with Star Wars Legion's Clone Wars, you got all these droids that really seem like they'll work great for these uh, kind of metallic color shifty type of uh, sets i think it's really cool and um you know it's kind of unfortunate that sword and steel got caught in the middle of it but again check them out uh really cool youtube channel and they review a lot of great products they did really great reviews on the paints too by the way so uh definitely should check them out i will put a link in the description below but uh yeah so i'm curious what you guys think you know do you think a single mistake even though significant and hopefully rectified by now. It does seem like it's been completely rectified, uh, or at least 
as rectified as they can make it. Do you think that uh, warrants a lifetime shunning of the community, or do you think they're worth a second look from you? I'd love to hear from you guys what you guys think. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. I want a uh, big, big shout out to patrons on Patreon. You guys are amazing. Definitely help make this all possible. So, uh, I'm, what am I going on with my graphics here? All right, that's all I've got for you guys. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and as always, have a great day.